In Maryland, women make 86 cents for every dollar a man makes. That's according to a report from the Department of Labor. Now, the legislature is considering a bill that lawmakers believe would cut into that disparity. WMAR 2 News, Jeff Morgan has details on the report and the legislation from Annapolis. Equal pay day marks roughly how long a woman needs to work into the next year to make what a male would make in the previous year. For the current gap, today is that day. This is an issue of basic fairness, and this is an issue of economic strength. 86 cents on the dollar is how much a woman makes compared to a man in Maryland. The numbers get worse if you compare what minority women make compared to white men. The majority portion of the department's report, Asian women make 86 cents on the dollar. White women make 79 cents on the dollar. Black women make 67 cents on the dollar. Native American women make 56 cents and Hispanic women, the worst, at 50 cents for every dollar a white man makes. And because Maryland wages are higher than a lot of parts of the country, that percentage gap really adds up over a lifetime, with Latinas earning $1.8 million less over a career than white. Senator Ariana Kelly is sponsoring legislation she believes will help. Uh, Senate Bill 525 is another strategy that's going to help. It's going to require the disclosure of salary ranges when you post the job. The Department of Labor was unable to answer questions on how this data shapes up for the state's second largest employer, the state itself, which employed nearly 100,000 people as of 2021. Secretary of Labor Portia Wu says the state has some practices that would make pay gaps less likely to occur. We already post those pay ranges when we post jobs in the state. Our information about what people make in specific roles is highly transparent. You can look it up online and find it. That's a, that's a huge important thing in wage transparency. Senator Kelly's bill is expected to pass out of the Senate tomorrow. In Annapolis, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.